Hello, welcome back to Larnet's Wednesdays where we look at Larnet's tips and tricks on a Wednesday. In this week's video, I'm going to show you how to get started in Caden Live. Now, Caden Live is a free open source video editor for Linux, Mac, and that other system too. So if we go on to cadenlive.org, you can go to EN Downloads. We can download the latest version as an app image or a PPA. And our PPA is a personal package archive. I like doing the app images because if you get the latest version, and something's not quite right, you can easily roll back to an older image. Once you've downloaded the program, if you right click the program, choose properties, press on permissions, and then go allow executing file as a program. And to run it, you just double click the program icon, and Caden Live will load up. Here you've got your clip monitor, and you've got your project monitor. Here you've got video one, and video two, audio one and audio two. What we want to do is add video to our timeline. So I press on this button here and go add clip or folder. I can then go to my desktop and I've got an MTS file. It does support MPEG4 and so on, but MTS comes from my video camera. I'm gonna click it and I'm gonna click on OK. It now says switch clip profile 1080p HD 50 frames a second. So I'm going to go switch. It's now switched to clip profile 1080p 50 frames a second. I can drag this file to the timeline. You'll see here you've got the video and here you've got the audio. If I want to see the whole of the video across the timeline, I can just right click on video one, press thumbnails and go all frames. You'll see there we've got a thumbnail all across the video. Now I can make the timeline bigger or smaller by using the slider here. It's nice and small or nice and big so we can zoom in and zoom out. So if I leave it like it was 13, you can also do that with the control key on your keyboard and the scroll wheel on your mouse. Now what I want to do now is move the blank spaces there. Now this is nice and simple. Just by clicking on the razor tool or the pair of scissors and we're going to click just there and click on selection tool and click on the first part of the video and press delete on the keyboard we can now right click and go remove space now if i go to the end of the video you'll see here we've now got blank space i want to remove this blank space i can just click on scissors Click there, click on the selection tool, and then press delete on the keyboard, and that removes the blank space. Now our video should play on the timeline. Let's just press play. And you'll see there, the video is now playing. I can play it either in the clip monitor or the project monitor. There we go. Now, if you find the video is a bit jerky in the either the clip monitor or the project monitor, you can then lower the resolution. So we go down there and we'll go 720p. You'll see that it's gone a lot more grainier. And when you play it back, it might be a bit faster on older machines. Now, my machine got built last November, so it's only a few months old. So I can run it at uh, one to one. And there we go. When you play the video now, the video now plays and you can see the bar there go across to the end of the video and you can cut bits out and do what you need to do. So that was a quick intro to getting started in Caden Live. Now we'll do some more Caden Live tutorials uh, on this channel. So if you want to see some more, place it in the comments below. If you found the video of some use, you know what to do, give this video a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, then I suppose that other button seems to work too. But it was a quick intro to Caden Live. As always, thank you very much for watching Linux Wednesdays. I'll see you in the next video.